I love making videos with multiple versions of me. Hi. 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 So I'm going to show you guys how to do that today with Adobe Premiere. What up everyone, my name is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. For those that aren't familiar, I do a lot of editing tutorials, specifically with Snapseed, with a splash of Instagram and social media tips. So if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe for more videos. And if you're not convinced, then watch to the end and figure it out for yourself. So this is a TikTok video that I'm going to recreate and essentially the final result would look like this. So these are the four that I'm going to mask. So masks are really powerful because they allow you to define certain areas that you wanna cover, highlight, blur, color correct, Etc. In this case, we're using it to highlight certain areas. So what you're gonna do is you're going to put them all on top of each other. And I'm just making sure that all of them are of the same length. So I always like to start from the top to the bottom. Think of your very first video as your base. So click on the last video and you're gonna go into effect controls and you're gonna click on the four point polygon mask under opacity. So now you're starting a mask layer. So as you can see, the layer that was right underneath it is visible. So you're going to take your mask and you're going to put it over the version of yourself that you're trying to mask. So in this case, it's a walrus. And what you're gonna do is you're going to drag this box out. So sometimes I like to zoom out just so I can play with the lines. Drag the mask over the entire character. And then I'm gonna quickly just go over the video. I just wanna make sure that the mask covers all of me. Okay, that should be good. Um, so once you're done masking the first video, you're gonna go into your second one and you're gonna do the exact same thing. So we're gonna click on the polygon mask. So now you're going to mask the other character. All right, so now we're gonna go on to the third video. So we're gonna click the opacity mask and mask our final character. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing here. So this is why it's super important to make sure that you have sufficient space between all your different characters. Because as you can see, if the unicorn was a couple of inches closer to the giraffe, it's gonna be very hard to mask it. And we'd have to use the tracking tool and kind of mask it frame by frame, which takes forever. So now all of our characters are in the frame. But as you can see, the bear on the right hand side the lighting somewhat changed here, so it's a bit brighter than the rest of the video. So the easiest way to fix that is to go into Masked Feather. So all feathering does is it softens the edges of your mask. So the more you increase it, you can see that the lines are more blurred. So the higher you go, the softer your edge is going to be. So I think that is good. But be careful with this. So if we select our mask again and I zoom in, you'll see it creates some cushion around the actual mask. So this is another reason why I like to ensure there's enough space between between all versions of me to ensure that if there are lighting issues like this instance, I can comfortably increase the feathering, kind of combat that. If the giraffe was too close to the bear, parts of the giraffe would disappear the more you increase the feathering. All right, so we're gonna play this whole thing back just to make sure that all of our limbs are in place and nothing is out of the frame. All right, so that was masking in a nutshell. That's a simple version of masking. It can get more complicated if you're trying to track yourself walking into different backgrounds. You just have to make sure that when you're filming, you're filming with a tripod. The key to masking successfully is to ensure that every version of yourself that you're filming is with similar lighting and positioning because anything that's out of the norm, it's going to make your masking job look not as good. And you'll also want to make sure that there's a good distance between the original version of you and the duplicate versions of you. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have any other video editing tips, feel free to reach out. Or if there's any other tips that you wanna learn, let me know in the comments. But if you love this, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. If you're not already following me on Instagram and TikTok, then what is you doing? And I will see you guys next time. And in the meantime, stay safe and hopefully you guys aren't too bored in quarantine. Bye. Okay, bye.